Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 24th of 2019, well it is titled Millions of Stars in Omega Centauri. So what do we see here? Well this is an example of what we call a globular star cluster. Now we talk about two different types of star clusters in general. There are globular star clusters such as this one and open star clusters. Open star clusters are not bound together gravitationally so they slowly spread out over time and eventually disperse out into space. Globular star clusters on the other hand have enough gravity to bind themselves together to hold their member stars and therefore remain together for billions of years. So an open star cluster may be only millions or hundreds of millions of years old, whereas globular star clusters such as this one can be billions of years old. And that is one of the reasons that astronomers like to study them is that many of these are remnants of the very early universe. They formed very early on and when we determine their ages we often find that they are 10 or 12 billion years old dating back to the earliest history of the universe. Now globular star clusters are scattered around the galaxy and in fact tell us a little bit about the early history of the galaxy because our, they are spread around in a spherical distribution. That means they are not concentrated to the disk of our galaxy like most other objects. They are spread out around in a spherical halo telling us that at some point in the past our galaxy was much more spherical than it is today. So it tells us something about the early evolution of our galaxy that it may have collapsed from something that was much larger and more spherical down into the disk that we see today. And we can learn that by studying this, uh, this type of clusters. Uh, globular clusters are also important uh, tools for studying stellar evolution and that's because they are sort of a stellar evolution laboratory. All of the variables are fixed so everything is the same except for one which would be the mass of the star that happened to form. So by looking at globular star clusters we can remove some of the other variables uh, such as when the stars form so that they all formed at roughly the same time we know and that they form from essentially the same material. So we can remove some of those other variables and it helps us to better study stellar evolution. So uh, clusters like Omega Centauri that we see in our image for today are very important for understanding not only the universe but our galaxy as well. So that was our picture of the day for August the 24th of 2019. It was titled Millions of Stars in Omega Centauri. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Leaving Earth. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.